Behold, the calculator. But where did it come from? Meet William Seward Burroughs, born in New York in 1857. William Seward Burroughs, not to be confused with his grandson, the author William S. Burroughs, spent his childhood in New York. After school, he began working as a bank clerk until the harsh winters wore on his health and sent him packing to warmer climates. Even after moving to St. Louis, William remembered his time at the bank, especially those long, monotonous hours spent crunching numbers and correcting mistakes. There had to be a faster way to perform basic calculations, a way to automate arithmetic. In 1888, it was official. He invented the calculator. This device looked more like a cash register than modern rectangular scientific calculators. While earlier patents tackled the same idea, William's design was the first practical example of an adding and listing machine. It wasn't perfect. In fact, users had to be careful with the original lever-operated machine. If they didn't pull the lever correctly, the machine would show different sums for the same calculation. Luckily for us, William stuck with it and improved the design. In 1886, he helped form the American Arithmometer Company. By 1926, they changed their name to the Burroughs Adding Machine Company and made around one million devices.